everybody, it's Sunny from Vegan Beauty Review and I am going to go over Vegan Cuts a Snack Box for July. So let's dive in, shall we? For once, I have actually eaten something prior to filming this. My body is not in starvation mode and everything isn't going to be like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> or maybe it will be, I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, you guys, this is the box at a glance. Ooh, I'm excited. We just gonna dive in. Let's do this, let's do this. Uh, 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 I'm on my own food cheerleader. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, shut up, sun buns. Okay, so as always, every box comes with an info card. And this is July, so it's all like red, white, and blue. They have all the brands listed, social media handles, little descriptions, etc. Okay, we're going to dive in. I am just going to pick what's on top. So first we have Wailana chips. You know, this is like a Hawaiian dealio in barbecue flavor. Is this cassava? 30% less fat than regular potato chips. I don't know, is that like some kind of root veggie? Yucca, yucca chips. Okay, okay. Um, these are gluten-free. <laughs> Dairy-free, wheat and soy-free. Wow, these are like free of a lot of allergens, which is great. Okay. What are they tasty? I don't know, let's try. Let's try. Gosh, some of these are like, some of these things are really hard to open. You know what these look like at a glance? What do you call it? Like pork rinds? Anyways. Um, all right, cassava, yucca chips. Let's try this out. Mmm. Oh man. They're super light and airy. Mm. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. This is only the first item I have tried, and it's already my favorite. That's how good they are. <laughs> Diggity dang. So I always wonder about these things, these new to me items. Like I've never seen this in stores. I don't know where to buy it, but I want a giant ass bag of this shit now. It's so good. I guess I'll have to go on their website and see where they're, where they're sold. Dang, yes, you guys. Yes, so good, so good. Okay, next up, more savory. Our Little Rebellion, is that right? That's the name of the brand. These are popcorners. Crispy and crunchy popped corn chips, salt of the earth. No artificial anything. Um, these are also gluten free. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. You can do it. Um, okay, let me get a full triangle. This is what they look like. And here we go. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I definitely taste like popcorn, that's good. So I really dig these, but I dig the little Hawaiian chips a little more. These are good though. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mm, let's see what's next. Let's see. As seen on Shark Tank. Pipcorn! Okay, there was a flavor of pipcorn in last month's box, and it was delish. I don't remember what the flavor was, but it was good. <laughs> This is sea salt and vinegar, delicious mini popcorn. I like mini everything. By the way, I love, I like sweet and savory. I like um, salty and, what is this, tangy? What is vinegar? It's like sour, right? Um, salty and sour. I like all those like different flavor combos. I love pickles, I love sauerkraut, I love salt and vinegar chips, like all that stuff is my jam. This is what it looks like. All right, Pipcorn. Mmm, mama's hungry. Even though I ate, I'm still hungry. Mmm, okay. I will say it's a little on the subtle side. I feel like for people who may not be hardcore into salt and vinegar, this will be like, okay. But if you like really crave that intense, like, Vinegary flavor. It's it's a bit tame, but it's it's tasty. It's tasty. No complaining here Okay, I do. <laughs> Okay, uh, this next one Elmhurst 
This is funny. This is milked. Milk. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. This is. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. <clears throat> milked hazelnuts. Like I picture the little hazelnuts like t -t 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 being, being milked. <laughs> Which is obviously not the case. That's so weird to, um, I've never heard or seen it phrased that way, milked nuts, you know? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, these are milked hazelnuts. Um, it comes with a straw. I'm not gonna have this now because I'd rather have it refrigerated, but hazelnuts, that's like the number one ingredient in Nutella. So I bet if I add some cocoa powder to this, and some like sweetener, it'll taste like Nutella, nut milk, <laughs> um, Elmhurst. I don't know this brand, this is crazy. I only know, so far I only know the brand Pipcorn. I think, I think, yeah, these are all new to me. Again, I don't know where to get this. I like the packaging. I think that's really cool. I'm really curious as cane sugar, almonds, natural flavors. Okay, so it does have sweetener. This will be like a dessert then, dessert. Okay, uh, we have, next up, we have raw fusion, uh, raw plant-based protein. This is a protein powder in vanilla bean. Uh, it's made in the US, it's gluten-free. Um, it has a ton of amino acids, which is good. I'll probably wind up using this in a smoothie. So, hope it tastes good. I'm not gonna try that on camera, obviously. Okay, let's see if there's any more salty stuff so I can get that out of the way. Okay, this, you know what? I think I have exhausted all the savory stuff. Okay, that's okay. Okay, this is interesting. Four Sigmatic Mushroom Hot Cocoa Mix. Hmm. With cordyceps? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Dark and spicy. False epice. Epice. False et. <laughs> Whatever. I don't speak French. <laughs> Let's see. Chocolate. Is this like a French company or are they just like French? Sigma Foods in Delaware. I don't know. They have everything in like French. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, mushroom hot cocoa. That seems like what? My brain can't compute. What? <laughs> I know this brand makes mushroom coffee. And I have tried it before and I wasn't like crazy about it, but I'm also like not a huge coffee person. And the concept of like a I think it was caffeine free. Like I I don't know. I didn't quite understand it. But hot cocoa, I'm really curious. What is cordyceps? Can somebody enlighten me? I know I can just Google that ish, but anyways, intrigued. Yes, definitely intrigued by this. Hmm. Hi. Right. Okay, next up we have trial size of Joe's oat patties. Veggie burger. This is a veggie burger mix. I thought this was oatmeal. I mean, look at it. That looks like oatmeal. Uh, it has oats, quinoa, portobello mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, garlic spices, sunflower seeds, Himalayan salt. You add a third a cup of hot water, cover, let it sit, mix till smooth, and form a patty. That's crazy! This is like a little veggie patty right here. So curious about what it tastes like. I'm such a picky person when it comes to veggie patties or veggie burgers, and I feel like the Beyond Burger has totally killed it in that department, making all other veggie patties like but, no, no, I'm open to trying it. All right. Oh, what do we have next? What do we have next? Hmm. What is this? Tropical Fusion Real Fruit. Okay, next we have this little fruit pack by Made in Nature. It's organic dried fruit. Uh, it's got banana, pineapple, mango, coconut, ginger, and cocoa nibs. Yum. Super curious. I know I'm so predictable. Does it have sugar in it? Let me see. It doesn't! Yay! <laughs> it's literally just dried fruit. It says shake it up, rip it open. Okay. There's like a really honking eagle flying outside my window, and it's, it's very distracting, but very cool. It's like majestic as fuck. <laughs> so regal and beautiful, and okay, how do I open this? Okay, whatever. Uh, oh, oh, all right. Mama made a mess. Hey, hey. Okay, this is what it looks like. Mmm. Ooh. Very tropical. Mmm. 
I dig that. Mmm, you guys. And you know what? I never understand why people add sugar or any kind of sweetener to dried fruit. Like, it's essentially fruit sugar in here, 100%. <laughs> like, you don't need to add any kind of sweeteners. It is sweet by nature. Mmm. 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 I'm like just, I'm like a dog who sees a squirrel. I'm just like distracted by my plant right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my God. Dandies. Yes, and a coupon. Yes. I recently got back from a road trip up in Washington and I ate so many s'mores, so many s'mores. So dandies are like my BFF because I've been s'moresing it up and dandifying my life on a daily basis as of late. I don't know if you guys have had these, but they're vegan marshmallows. And if you don't know why marshmallows aren't vegan, they contain gelatin, which is pretty nasty. <laughs> Even if you're not vegan, like the concept of what it is is like, what? <laughs> it's basically like melted down hooves, like bone tallow. It's what, like what they make glue out of, I think. Um, yeah, and then they just add sugar and it's like, poof, marshmallow. <laughs> But these don't have that icky factor and they taste exactly like freaking marshmallows. So it's obviously not a necessary ingredient, you know? So anyways, I guess I'll eat one on camera. <laughs> Even though, I don't know, I'll show you what they look like. Hi. So they look like legit, I don't even wanna say legit marshmallows cause these are legit marshmallows. I'm not, did I tear the coupon? I kinda did. I love a dandy coupon. All right. They're vegan, gelatin-free, gluten-free, and fat-free. Okay. That's what they look like. And I've tasted them many, many a time. <laughs> in fact, somewhere deep down in my video catalog, not so deep down, I don't have a ton of videos, but I have a chubby bunny video. So if you want to find out how many of these I can stuff in my mouth and still say chubby bunny, how about it? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh yeah. Don't mind me. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. I'm like zoning out like hard right now. You know when your eyes get lazy and just kind of like, okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next up, ooh. Okay. Next up is from the cookie department. That's a great brand name. Can I work for you guys? <laughs> This contains antioxidants. It's the great full sweet potato cranberry oatmeal cookie. Break size, fully functional cookies. It's vegan, zero trans fat, macro friendly. But is it, is it gluten free? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not a stickler for gluten free. I just know most of these boxes are heavily gluten free, so I'm always curious. But anyways, okay, whatever. Too much yapping, Sunny. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Okay, here we go. This is what it looks like, y'all. Sweet potato, cranberry, and oatmeal. So it's like an oatmeal cookie. Mmm, mmm. Dang, that's good. That's good. You can taste like the brown sugar. It's got like a nice, the, like I feel like the sweet potato vibe is like pulling through. Dang, okay. I'm gonna put this in my favorite category too. Yum, yum. Okay. Okay, three more items, three more items. We've got this Better Than Coffee Dark Chocolate and Coconut Energy Bar. I actually have not had my caffeine yet today, which is crazy, what's wrong with me? That's like something I do first thing when I wake up. And it's like afternoon, okay. So this is like a coffee, dark chocolate and coconut caffeine energy bar. Okay. 
This is what it looks like. Oh, it's really hard. Well, it's a little labor intensive in the chewing department. It's pretty bitter. It's very, woo. It's a bit, it's a bit intense, y'all. Mm. It's really bitter and not a lot of like sweet pulling through, but I know it's good for you. And I guess if you need that boost of caffeine, like why not do it in a little snacky treat? Ooh, ah, that's intense. That's intensely bitter. Not my favorite, not my favorite. Okay, next up we have the No Cow Bar. It's a dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free, vegan chocolate fudge brownie. This is a chocolate fudge brownie with protein in it. It's got brown rice protein, pea protein. So it's like an energy bar, I guess. Monk fruit extract stevia. Oh, this is like zero sugar. One gram of sugar. Oh, you guys know that gets me excited. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, hang on. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you what it looks like. I was like, whatever. <laughs> mm, okay, ooh. For something that doesn't have any like traditional sugar in it, again, it has monk fruit and stevia. That's pretty freaking good. Shoot, I like that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm putting that in my favorites too. This might not be your favorite because again, it has that like sugar-free vibe, even though it's sweet. It's really like beautifully sweet. Okay, last but not least, we have Kutoa. I guess that's how you say it. Oh, Kutoa, Swahili. It's a verb which means to give. You buy, we give. Every bar you buy, they give a meal to a child in need. I feel like even if this tastes like shit, we should buy all these bars. Okay, chocolate banana. Whole fruits and chocolate with chia and flaxseed. What's in here? Ah, okay, too many ingredients. I mean, not like in a bad way, I'm just lazy. I thought it was maybe just fruit and chocolate, but it's not. <laughs> okay, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like. And here we go. That's good. It's um it's actually an intensely sweet. It's like really sweet. Woo! <laughs> It's good. Uh, again, maybe not my favorite. I think because of the chia and flax seeds, it's like extra seedy, or maybe I'm just not quite in the mood for that in this moment. But um, cool brand. I definitely want to see what other kind of stuff they carry. So that is everything. I went through the entire box. I'm going to quickly go over my favorites. Okay, so the very first thing I tried, the Wailana chips in barbecue. Bomb.com. That's one of my favorites. The cookie department, grateful sweet potato cranberry and oatmeal cookie. Two thumbs up. Let me do that properly. Two thumbs up. <clears throat> dandies, come on now. There can't be a dandies appearance and this not be my fave, like obviously. But close runners up are, I don't know, I'm gonna, I like the popcorn and I like these like, oh, and I like the popcorners. Oh, and my sugar-free chocolate fudge brownie. I definitely am gonna hunt these down because I'm always looking for sugar-free alternatives for sweets because even though I try not to do sugar sugar, mama's got a sweet tooth. Right, so pretty much this entire box was a hit. I'd say my least favorite was this better than coffee caffeine energy bar. But you know, like you can't, you can't like everything. Everything can't always be your favorite. That's, that's just the way she goes. So yeah, um, those are my favorites, not so favorites. Yeah, just singular. Everything else was pretty bomb. Okay, alrighty you guys. I'll have all the information on how you can order one of these boxes and how much it costs and all that um, in the info box below. 
and let me know which snack you're interested in trying or have you tried any of these do you like any of these if you enjoyed the video feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and that's it for now i love you guys thank you for watching Mwah. bye